Hello, everyone. I'm dying. I I remember where we were. Now we were we were gonna go into the clinic. Yeah. This this man has some, some kind fucking of fucking allergy you know, medication. This man had some kind of risible nickname like Fucko or Chungus. The clinic? No, the dude on the bench. Oh. Benchman. No, he's um Raisinets. Raisinets? No, he had a nickname, Goober. Oh, is this thing? Well there we go. Cocky. Excuse me. It was cocky. <laughs> There's too many nicknames in this town. We're, we're back to the video bubbles. game with Cocky and Goober. I'm here playing this game, apparently. Why are we still doing this game? Why are um, we, still, why are we well, back we in didn't, Bioshock? We didn't talk about doing anything else this week, so I, I guess we just kind of assumed. What is interesting about this game, Camster? What I'm about this game yourself. that is so interesting? I had Whatever. no what hand in deciding that we were doing this game. <laughs> Camster, and I don't know why you're asking tell me. Tell me with your big brain <laughs> that you own, what is so oh, interesting shit. about this video here. game? Listen, it's okay. I'm a it is a 90s style no, throwback uh, adventure game made, made as I understand it, largely by one person in Sweden. And it's not it's terrible from what I've seen and heard. That's all I know. Redscarn, from your smaller brain, what do you think is interesting about plastic, this? But this looks like a real plant. Goober. Smoking aloud. Guess this place is Goober a is a better <laughs> answer. Healthcare regulations. No thanks. I have better things. It's got the do. same letters as booger. To be fair, this is probably a nicer game than both Bioshock Infinite and Heavy Rain put together and Borderlands <laughs> 2. And I suggested all three of those games. Hey, so. doofus. Oh, hi! I mean, it's, uh, it is... Do you want me to get the thing out? The walkthrough? No, so we I, know, know I know what it is. We, we need to... Okay, um, that's enough serious questions for now. Alrighty! We need to convince him to do a so tell me a reenactment of one of his of super not yeah. actually real movies here, and then um, natural bald killers. And then we're gonna taser. It's him. a dystopian vision of the future where people. Are I know which movie it is if you're looking. The protagonist Eddie Zephyr turns bald in high school. One day. He has simply had enough of all the teasing and the bullying, and he completely snaps. Oh, what else is going on? 24-7. That place is 24-7, and yet it's closed. And he makes his way to Mexico for an illegal hair transplant. However, he has an adverse reaction to the anesthesia, and he dies on the operating table. I think can, this can is there, the one. Can there be a... Uh, Why do you always die at the end of your movies? Bad part of town in a town I that's only, it. like, five people. Yeah, that would be the part of the town that is the town. Oh, never. Not the coach. So, how good an actor are you? The best. The very best. You know, that nurse in there, she said she loved you in all those movies. And that she always wished you'd give her a live performance. Is it, like, it. is it really an adventure game if you don't, like bamboozle some stranger to kind of a perplexing extent for no like humanitarian reason i'm sure i'm gonna have to oblige just like sociopathically manipulate someone for your short-term short-term incremental progress towards a nebulous goal or agenda and then you know commit assault yeah we're about to stun this guy with a cattle prod like It, it just seems a little violent. Fernando, you've been such a good friend. I can't thank you enough for making me whole again. Turn this scalp into a breathtaking. Oh, are we gonna do it so the nurse gets up? Is that is that the idea? Is we electrocute him? Yeah, we're just going to. Yeah, that's the best way yeah. to get the attention of a nurse is to just actually injure someone. Nine, eight, seven, six. 
This is definitely going to be like framed as oh, it's it's like he's having a heart attack or a stroke or something, but like it also just might actually require medical attention if you're chasing a man who doesn't look like he's absolutely like county fair blue ribbon health wise. I'll have to intervene somehow. Electrifying performance. I like how the nurse literally did not look at the man. Hey, doofus. Oh, hi. Hey. Sure. Ne Ball, move. We're really going to do this for all of them? No, no, no. This is the same one. I, I'm not sure if we're able to do it initially, but he's going to get to that point and we're just going to fucking tase him. Fernando. I think. You've been such a good friend. I can't thank you enough for making me whole again. Turn this scalp or and do we need to such as the world can we just seen. okay doctor you stun gun on goober now. 10 good nine, idea but it wouldn't eight. match his symptoms it wouldn't match his yeah. symptoms oh you, you got to get him to do oh, the right it? the right you, one which is you. <laughs> all right all right all right all right oh buddy Adventure this, games! This is a very I'm adventure surprised game. This puzzle is still in this version. There's also something that, like I remember people talking about of like the hey, do you remember that part where you trick a, a homeless person to go to a hospital and then fake a heart attack by hitting hey, by Jesus. shooting with a fucking stun gun? That's weird, right? So what about I literally a rundown don't even on the usual surprises. A lighthearted comedy taking place during a surprise birthday party. That's the thing that actually, I think, so this is, I think, a real point about adventure games and, like, one reason why the genre doesn't, like, stick around, like, never quite made it mainstream, is that if you look at a lot of, like, third-person, like, third-person type games that really, like, blew out in popularity to the point where, like, you know, your average person might own a console and play that game, they're almost all set up in such a way that, like, if you have an actual job and, like, family, and, like, you can only play once a week or, like, once every couple weeks, you can sit down and pick up the controller and not just be completely confused as to what's even going on. And adventure games just, like, don't work that way. Like, you, you jump into an adventure game after a few weeks, you might as well just, like, start over. I'm seizing! Nurse! He's seizing! Oh, there it is. Damn, Nurse, that's pretty fucking brutal. Just... Oh, shit. <laughs> Man, I feel like a total jackass. guy's gonna get admitted to the hospital we'll and then, like, have, later. like, a $10,000 medical bill dropped on him. Could the nurse <laughs> not this hear? This is America. Whoever made this game has never what actually used a fucking taser, to has to they? Because when you use a taser, it makes this really loud fucking clicking sound. Like a really loud, annoying clicking sound. And any nurse would probably know what that sound is. So I'm not convinced. What would you do if you were a nurse and you just watched a woman taste like a full grown man right in front of you and then yell, oh my god, he's having a heart attack? Like, what? what is the move there? I would... Definitely take him back to the ER for all of the doctors or whatever. And while I'm back there, I would call the police they really liked that year. and say there's a crazy woman with a taser. She's dangerous. Please help me. And then she just like starts tasing the cops. The cops start tasing her. You just got like I this mean, like taser knife fight happening in the, the lobby of the hospital. The truth is, Resgarn, is the actual answer there. is I would never become a nurse because I'm scared. Yeah, my, my mother was a nurse. Nursing is really scary, actually. I would never fucking do it. Shout out to all the nurses out there. That's a fucking hard job. It's pretty fucking rough. Crap. Looks like I have to figure out the username some other way. Otor Gator. I am charmed by all of this, Crap. like, strong bad like era technology. I think the moment, like, I definitely felt 
oldish is when Strong Bad got a computer that looked like one that my family had actually there owned when I was growing up. Fuck, what is this guy's name? Do you want me to tell the you? The Apple computer. Uh, the Apple laptop. No. Not now. Just like with the company. No, what is the patient we're supposed uh. to be? Do, do you want me to tell you? Grandpa in uniform. <laughs> no, I mean. I have the answer right in front of me. Sure, I can say I it. I guess. I guess Chris. Wade. Charles Wade. Oh, right. Warles Shade. There we go. Gotcha. Date of birth forever ago. So sleek. So sophisticated. So campe. <laughs> <laughs> she I don't know. Out of the computer just starts doing a strong bad email. What, what was that a reference to? Who taped a full oh color photograph to my computer screen? All I know is strong bad is Trogdor, and and then the doodly doot song. That's, sad. That's all I know. Fucking, don't ever also tell, the... tell, don't no 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 don't ever say that to me again, Camster. I also this remember the, the cheerleaders. Oh right, Teen Girls. There was also that. Well, yeah, Teen Girls Squad. Yeah. That. How do you want your pictures? So those are the three the thing things you need I to know. In this context about Strongman, is that the joke, the recurring joke with his character is that all of his computers are like a good twenty years out of date, and then at some point that just started to be a computer that like looked like a computer that he probably like that. Like I said, that my family had actually owned within my living memory that I had used, and then it's like, wow. I still play Time the does keep marching on, just like that one They Might Be Giant song. Hey, do you remember the time they made a bunch of Homestar Runner They Might Be Giant music videos? I sure don't, because I, I didn't... I don't actually... You're know not old enough. You're assuming a lot, <laughs> Mr. Wade. Guilty I was at a wedding where They Might Be Giant song played pretty recently. For a man with little time what, which one? To be That's a good question. You I don't remember. <laughs> What is wrong with you, Ruskarn? It's it's hard Hipster for me to Ruskarn, think of. Coming into the chat, talking about Strongbed, talking about they might be giants, and then not saying anything significant. Both of these things I love very much. Are you talking about? Wait, wait a minute. Hang on. Hang on. I think it was Birdhouse in your soul. Okay. Well, that is. Was it experimental that makes the most film? Sense. I was about to say, because, like, if you try, I, well, how I actually arrived at that was that I mentally compiled a list of every They Might Be Giant song I've ever heard that is appropriate to play at a wedding. Does it go like and it this? Was that one. I'm your only friend. I'm not your only friend, but I'm a little glowing friend, but actually, I might actually be your friend. Is that it? I've heard, like, 40 They Might Be Giant songs. I, did, I do know several songs. Is it Istanbul, not Constantinople? Two. It wasn't, it wasn't, it, it, it was the birdhouse in your soul one. Is it Triangle Man? It's like the most Triangle annoying Man. song they ever made. Which is why it was they the hit. They call me Dr. Worm. I'm not a real doctor, but I am an actual worm. Do you know anything about what happened to my grandfather in 81? I, I actually, I like, I was... Do it playing an adventure game know. recently and listening to They Might Be Giant. This is an actual true story. <laughs> and the one about, like, so I'm, like, about, like, being dead and, like, now a bag of groceries, reincarnated as a bag of groceries came on. And I had to alt tab out of the game and, like, re listen it, like, replay that one from the start, like, 20 different times, like, all the way through. Because I'm just like, what the fuck is this? I don't know what it is, but it's like poking at some dark corner of my brain that wants, didn't want to be disturbed at this hour. Were you accidentally taken off the shelf before the expiration date? I think I, that song literally took me off the shelf before the expiration date. That's literally the lyrics, Rutzgard. Get with- I know it's literally the lyrics! I like the Mickey Mouse Clubhouse theme song. Are you implying that there's more- Sing it for us. I, left the I cannot remember how it goes. I just know they did it. Then I, I guess you don't really included. like it, Camster. <laughs> You're not a real big Mike Giant slash included. Mickey Mouse Club fan. So I did. <laughs> God damn it. See, what can you tell me about your friendship? Do you think there's more OG just... Mickey Mouse Club fans or more They Might Be Giant fans out there? We grew up together. Oh, Mickey Mouse for sure. They Might Be Giants is just a bunch of Gen Xers and me. Together. I can't even begin to count the number of times he's saved my life. 
I repaid the favor. Are they Gen X? I guess they are. But they're so Gen X. I, I think that they so are like Gen embedded in the touch? DNA. Like they're like microplastics. You can find them like you can find some percentage of they might be giants in every single member of Gen X. <laughs> Whenever I meet someone who's like 50 plus, I'm like, do you like they might be giants? Because you look like a Gen Xer to me. Yes. I mean, I remember they they did those two shorts for Tiny Toon Adventures. That's that was my introduction to they might be Triangle Bonds. Man, Istanbul, not Constantinople. Yes, yep. you're right. They did do those two songs for those cartoons. That anyone could be reasoned with. The history of they might be giants as like a franchise, like as a as like a brand, is basically like people who were really into they might be giants putting them in places where they don't quite belong. Yes. And it's just kind of like, hey, here's this band. You're not going to get it. You are going to enjoy this. It's hardly grandpa's and then they're going to be gone. He could to and you're not really going to sleep. understand what happened. Anyone who's listening at home who has never heard of They Might Be Giants, I challenge you to listen to Birdhouse in Your Soul and then go look up the lyrics. They're quite beautiful. It's about being a little nightlight. And thinking about what it means to be a light, light. But that's it. That's the whole song. It's beautiful. And then listen to uh, the song, The Statue Got Me High, which is about being killed by a fucking statue. And then listen to Dr. Worm, which re always reminds me of my husband, because it's about playing the drums. My husband is you quite good a at the drums. You paintings by Lily Myers. Why? I'm known to dabble in art from time to time. Martha, my wife at the time. Okay, so they did the Daily Show theme song and Malcolm in the Middle's theme Wait, song. Wait, what? They did the what now? According what? to this wiki entry, it's Daily Show, Dog on Fire. So it's theme song performances. I'm assuming that that's oh, a theme. Oh, shit, they did Dog on Fire? No, I think Dog on Fire is like the main theme for the Daily Show. They are the Gen X version of Danny Elfman. I had it valued yeah. by an expert. I, what 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 Jen is Danny Elfman? He's a boomer Today for I'm sure. Because oh. he did the Who Simpsons theme. The the Simpsons came out what, what late eighties. You got to be a boomer to make the Simpsons. D Danny Elfman is definitely a boomer. He's sixty eight years old. He was born okay. in nineteen fifty three. Thank, Thank you. I have a I have a question prompt. Okay. Who is the Gen X version of John Denver? Oh, that's a great question. Fuck. My Come parents on. listen to so many fucking John Denver songs all the would time. Would it just be Nirvana? Like, honestly? Okay. Would it just be I, fucking I feel Nirvana? Like, I feel like John Maybe. Denver doesn't have a lot of reach outside the United States. Does somebody want to sum that's up John true. Denver's whole thing okay. for, for our international listeners? John Denver is a country singer who died in a plane crash. Wow! Well, no, come on. That that gets you. Nuts. There's more What's to the experience it. of listening to John Denver. He was with the Muppets. Not in the plane crash. He was a that sweet would be boy who made country he... music. Okay, let me try this. Um, if you were like out in the country, like at a national park, and like you bought you some like fine leather boots coffee? from a really old guy who only makes leather boots for hiking in like mountains with and then but you like, but you had to break in the boots so like you started like rocking them back and forth and then like music started coming out it would be like a john denver's music yeah fuck but he's also got to be revered by all Jimmy music Cochran. fans like if you are a music fan yeah, you have to like at some point be like oh yeah john denver is quite good actually let me guess since He's the Country Roads guy. Either 82 or yeah. 83. I'm that song, certain. literally, I can't listen to. Did you know this about me? I cannot listen to Country Roads. Roads. It will literally make Something me cry. No matter what. One time I was at Disneyland and this guy was playing it on his guitar and I had to Game run away drum. really fast Game because drum, he because it was going to make me cry. Yes, that's the one. You know the place. Are, yeah, that's are, like a good old-fashioned like, folk song witchcraft right there. Right. Are, are any of us the pedantic, he's singing about we the western part of Virginia, not West Virginia the state people? Please don't I, no, recite don't, the lyrics, I've, I've, I will literally I've forgotten what you just Mothers said, and I don't intend to remember it. Most of us care to admit. You know, if I'm we just were curious. allowed to say the British version, the British Gen X version of John Denver, would it not be like, I don't know, Oasis? 
trying to scratch the surface. Oh, no. People yeah. hate Oasis. Think about it. Well, the British Gen X version of John Denver. Lives. Too late to head back to the city now. No, because people always compared Oasis to the Beatles and then they Can flamed out and everybody that? hated them. Well, yeah, but the Beatles, I don't know. I feel like the Beatles aren't allowed to be compared to anybody, right? Like they're their own deal. The strangest yeah. thing was, was that Except for like, <laughs> like the Spice Girls paintings by Picasso. I'm just kidding. That's a joke. I'm not saying the Beatles are like the Spice Girls. The Spice Girls only had two albums. That can't be a coincidence. The Beatles had many. So that's just a start. Do you want to yeah, know Meatloaf wasn't in any how like, long films with the Beatles? So. Meatloaf was Boomer though. They didn't have much yeah, no, Meatloaf was like found a few Meatloaf was like a from Ruffles, the family. He's like a chunk of the Boomer bedrock. Stunning police work right there. Meatloaf was the first album. Bad Out of Hell was the first album that my dad ever bought for me. True story. We our first true bonding moment as me being a teenager was over Meatloaf. So yeah. I take it the case was closed. I really like there. There are some Meatloaf songs that really get me. Honestly, didn't care much. One He's wonderful. Given the As a musician, my most expensive pieces were safe and sound. I think I'll have a chat with the sheriff. Do you want to know how matter? long it took if me to okay get that Certainly, the Beatles call ahead is a play on words and it's not a reference to bugs, but That'd be rather great. Thanks, the Charles. Beatles. But I'm that was a, literally years of not getting that. <laughs> what about Tom As Petty? As the Gen X version. Right before uh, he had his I... injury. Mm -hmm. um, Tom Petty's got like Tom Petty smoked weed. John Denver like John Denver in smoked weed. Come on, you don't think I mean, John I'm sure Denver he... smoked weed? Listen, John Denver smoked weed, but he train. like he couldn't possibly smoke weed the same way Tom Petty We're smoked weed. Game. That's fair. But Tom that Petty's a also a boomer. We, like, we, yeah, but like, he didn't make music well, until yeah. the late yeah. 80s. He didn't really start making music until he was almost 40. So, like, yeah, his John, music is for Gen Xers. John Denver, like, walks down into a secluded mountain trail where, like, a brownie comes out of a tree, like, hee -hee, and, like, oh, hands him a, okay. a spliff, like, just, like, wrapped in a, the mountain herb. So you want a crunchy, you want a crunchy Gen Xer is yeah. what you want, Red Scarn. Okay, Basically. let me look it up. Let me see. Let me so see. like Denver, Just Denver, the and then like he hits that. Tom Petty gets it from his girlfriend at the gas station, who's even sketchier than he is. Like that's that's I, I, the Tom Petty joint. I think the problem is that that both neither folk music nor that sort of like naturalist sentiment is is something that existed in the 80s so i don't think there is an 80s version of tom petty for the gen xers to hold on to but I... you could say that there are music in the 90s for gen xers i feel that gen xers yeah. are allowed to have music in the 90s and there's plenty of oh, like, absolutely. hippie shit then i mean you could I'm... you could say like pearl jam like, stone temple Pilots. like do, does millennial music even really start until like lincoln park no uh... i wouldn't think so it's it, are, you, are we talking? Yeah, are we talking music made for millennials or music made by millennials? Because like Backstreet Boys was music they're, made they're for, older than us. Not by. For. Okay, yeah, then, then definitely Backstreet Boys era, the late nineties. Yeah. Like for example, Josh, like Nirvana is for Gen X, but Foo Fighters right, yeah, is for exactly. millennials. Yeah. I'm actually weirdly confident that when we figure out who the Gen X version of John Denver is, it's going to be somebody I absolutely cannot stand. What about the Goo Goo Dolls? <laughs> Hmm. I actually can't think of a single Goo Goo Doll song. My wife is watching all of the um, Disney films in order, and she recently got through uh, Treasure Planet, so I've re been exposed to the work of, of the Goo Goo Dolls guy. I'm sure the church is What's your favorite Goo Goo Dolls song? I mean, I, I don't. You know me, I just consume music through pop culture, so just I only know two little, Google Dolls songs. And it's it's <laughs> it's it's either the stupid one from uh, Angels City of Angels or it's the so it's either like Baby's Bat Black Balloon or the uh, I Don't Want the World to See Me song. And I think those are the only two Google Dolls songs I know. And then the one from you know Treasure Planet that isn't Google Dolls, it's just the guy. You know what band oh, no, transcends generations like I would say boomers, Gen Xers, and even a little millennials. There are a few things I need to ask you, Grandma. 
It's Aerosmith. Oh, man. Oh, man. Uh, Fucking Aerosmith. Uh, you're probably I'm right. I'm not wrong. I am correct. He was a friend of Grandpa's. <laughs> Oh wait, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. So is Aerosmith a boomer band? Let's let's start there. Is it yes. like at least not anymore? Okay. I was told he was Definitely a boomer facility. band. Definitely. Really? He always struck me as a kind man, maybe a bit nervous and I owned definitely. guitar hero Aerosmith, and that shit sucked ass. I found out Jimmy asked. Yeah, but didn't you go on the Aerosmith ride at um Hollywood Studios in Florida? I actually think I did, and I also think I did like it. Well, okay, so here's a funny story about that roller coaster. I remember going with um, my dad. Like, they, my family took me to Disney World for the first time when I was, like, 18, I think. And so my dad was really pumped about going on the Aerosmith ride, and I was too. And so we go on the Aerosmith ride, and they didn't play any of the classic Aerosmiths. They only played, like, Jaded, Pink, all of the, like, recent Aerosmith songs. So I walk out of the the ride being like that's fine i love jada that's a great song and my dad walked out and he was so later, fucking Brent. pissed <laughs> that they did not play his favorite aerosmith songs and that is why i feel aerosmith transcends all generations they got something for everybody and they could piss off absolutely anyone yes i still mostly think of them as the wayne's world 2 band I've never seen Wayne's World 2. I heard it's bad. I, I'm uh, old. The, all the great accomplishments of Aerosmith, such as the Wayne's World 2 band. <laughs> okay, I regret to say this, but I'm looking at the Aerosmith, Guitar Hero Aerosmith track list. And actually, I mean, a lot of these are good songs. I don't know what my problem was. I guess I was a teenager okay. and had no musical taste in a no, much, the much thing more about narrow Aeros sense than I would have taste now. The Aerosmith goes really hard. Like, Aerosmith goes 110% all the time with all of their songs. And the other thing about Aerosmith is that, like, each song kind of has its own genre. So it would make sense yeah. that, like, a young Red Scar is like, this is really no cheesy. Answer. I fucking hate this. Yes, in class. Aeros Aerosmith are, like, genetically the only band that could have made the main track for Con Air. Oh, uh, yeah. Wait, they did that? Uh, yeah, I think so. McConnell Air Force Base, how can I help you? Hi, I was just wondering if you had time just... to answer a few questions. Weird that sure they're that. doing Not it quite. in the 90s. I don't know. I always think of like Aerosmith as like being over by the time I was around. Wait a minute, hang on. What no was... way, Con Air was I don't want to miss a thing without you. you. Oh, oh, that's right. I'm, I'm mixing up. I mix it up with I don't want to miss a thing from Armageddon, which is the actual. <laughs> movie that has to have an Aerosmith theme song. Okay, that makes more I was sense. Like, okay. There's a version of How Do I Live Without You that's quite good. That, I don't know, it was made by the Homestuck people. Yeah. I, I post, yeah, posted it on my like music blog like tens of millions of years ago. It's quite good. Let me try to find it and put it on Twitter. So you can look through my tweets and be like, oh, there it is. There's also a Homestuck song at the end. Actually, I don't actually know if that was true or if that was just a joke I made at the wedding. I was pretty drunk. I can't remember. <laughs> <laughs> 